leave you hanging, Hill Hunt. <laughs> Leon, we really have to talk. Why, why, why does this always happen to me? <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's why. So, what took you so long, detective? Let's just say I got a little hung up, Chief. Ace Hart, you're quite a dog. Once again, it's smooth sailing in Dog City, thanks to Ace Hart, Private Eye Dog. Great show, Elliot. One of our best. Thanks, Ace. You were terrific, Natch. So, what are we gonna do next? Good question. I need a little uh, inspiration. <laughs> Greetings, Arflings. I bring you salutations from the moon doggies. <laughs> ba woo, wa woo. Ba woo, wa woo. To you too, Artie. Hey, cool moon doggy outfit. Thanks. Yeah. Moon doggies, the new litter is a great TV show, uh, Mr. Yeah, Shag. Yeah, sure is. Say, say, Mr. Huh? Shag, would you like to come to the fan club convention with me? I brought your antenna. Oh, thank you, Artie. <laughs> well, I'd love to go. Oh, good. But Ace Heart comes first. Uh, oh, well, I gotta go. So long. No, no, I mean, I gotta use your little puppy's room. Oh, my hydrant is your hydrant, Artie. Thanks, thanks. It's the end of the world. We're being invaded by aliens. Oh, no, down, boy, down. It, it's all over the papers. Well, better there I'm than... I'm telling you, we're being invaded by moon doggies from another Bruno, planet. Bruno, Bruno! Well, moon doggy is a TV show. Their fans are coming to town, that's all. Really? Really. There are no such things as aliens. Bawoo, wawoo, greetings, Arflings. Bawoo, wawoo. <laughs> it's a moon doggy invasion. Run for your life, Bowser. No. What you doing down there, boy? Get me out of here. Hey. Oh. Hey. Bowser. Hey. Hey. <laughs> well, I gotta be going. Bark long and prosper, sir. Bow wow. Bow wow. Say, Ace, there's something we haven't done before an outer space episode. No wonder. This is a detective show, kid. I catch bad dogs, not little green mutts. Yeah, but a science fiction episode could be really exciting. Picture this. Ace Hart in the War of the Wolves. Yes, folks. Oh, Howl is breaking loose down here at Rover's Mill. But I'm sure Ace Hart can handle it. Elliot, call him up! What's the matter, Ace? You don't like it? Does a dog have fleas? Elliot, I'm surprised at you. Ace Hot deals in facts, not science fiction. <laughs> you see? This is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Oh, come on, Ace. It'll be fun to do something new. Five bones a day plus expenses. Please whoop them aliens for us, Mr. Hart. We'll pay you handsomely. Nope. Sorry, Elliot. I just won't do it. Okay, Ace. You win. I don't have time to argue with you. We'll do the show your way. And no science fiction? No science fiction. Now this is more like it. So where does the story go from here, kid? Ace Hart, Uncle Sparky wants you. Gee, Mutz. Hey, let's not make a federal case out of this. Whoa! Nice to meet you, Mr. Hart. Please, sit. It was the world-famous rocket scientist, Wormer von Hound. He was a genius who didn't know the meaning of the word can't. I said, sit! He also didn't know the meaning of the word decaf. Let's dispense with the formality, shall we? I assume you've heard about us sending the first dog to the moon, yeah? I read the papers. Good. It was all nice and successful, yeah? Well, you're wrong! Roll the film! This is the part that no one has seen. That's one small step for a mud, one giant leap for dog kind. It was enough to make a grown mutt cry. Busting nickel and dime criminals sure seemed like small potatoes compared to what Heel Armstrong was doing for his country. I claim 
this here lunar orb in the name of... Oh, hold on, Space Command. It appears we have some friendly locals come to welcome me. Greetings, lunar natives. I come in... Whoa! Hey, hands off! You in this suit, you're paying for it! Lights! As you can see, it's absolutely essential that we send another astromat up there. Say no more, Doc. I don't need a doghouse to fall on me. You want Ace Hot to unravel this mystery, right? No. We want you to find out who's been stealing our office supplies. It's really getting out of hand. This is it, Elliot? This is your big topper to last week's show? It gets better, Ace. Take a look outside. Ooh, science fiction-y. Hold it. I know where this is going. Somehow you're gonna get me into that rocket and blast it off, right? Why no, Ace? Whatever makes you think that? Well, you can forget it. It ain't gonna work. Hey, Elliot, who turned up the lights? Elliot? Elliot! I hate to do this to him. But someday he'll thank me for it, I think. And now, the plot thickens. Double agent calling comrades. Come in, comrades. It's best of breed calling. Am soon to steal rocket from decadent capitalistic canines and claim moon for Castlevania. Oh, drat. Someone is coming. There it is, boys. A soon-to-be greatest criminal achievement. <laughs> oh, don't keep us in suspense, boss. What are you gonna do once we steal the rocket? Huh? <laughs> Simple. I desire said ballistic bus for my soon-to-be-completed criminals-only theme park. Vile Wild. It's fun for the whole crime family. I was just gonna say that, oh, fruit of my sister's looms. Now, all we need to do is gain illegal entry to the projectile in question. Gee, Dogfoot, uh, how are you gonna do that? Success! <laughs> genius, boss! Shit, genius! Not so fast, Bugsy. Hot! What are you doing here? <laughs> Dressed like that. Somebody's gotta stand up for Mr. and Mrs. Taxpayer. Now hand over Joe Public's paper clips. Please, Hart. We would never stoop so low as to pilfer such pittances like office supplies. Right, boys? Yeah, uh -huh. right. Okay. What he said. <laughs> we have set our collective sights on much bigger booty. Namely, the rocket. And there ain't nothing you can do to stop us. It's red letter day for all Castlevania. In but few seconds, Rocket will be blasting off. <laughs> In seven, six, five. Four to one, huh? This won't be a fair fight, boys. You're gonna need a few more months to beat me. That does it. Bruiser, flatten them! And the stapler's gone, too. I ain't through with yous, Hart. This planet ain't big enough for the both of us. You ain't kidding, boss. Look. Huh. Small world. <laughs> we are hoitling through the cosmos. Going to the moon. And I think I love this. if I'm wrong here, but didn't we have a deal? Sure, Ace. We agreed. No science fiction. Ah. Then what do you call blasting me to the moon? Science fact. Come on, Ace. Wouldn't you rather howl on the moon than howl at the moon? All right, moon doggies. We's ready for you this time. Come on, Bowser. You, you voiced. Bruno, what are you doing? 
I told you before, we are not, I repeat, are not being invaded. Be careful, Bowser. That moon doggy is trying to scramble our brain. Someone obviously beat me to it. Whoa! This must be one of them alien moon doggy communicators disguised as a common household appliance. Yeah! Oh! I got it off! Yeah! Oh, oh, I'm being oh, attacked! Oh, oh. Get me out of here! It's got to be a full moon. Yeah. Where were we? Space Command to rocket ship K9. Speak, rocket ship. Speak. Rover. Ace Hart here. Rover. Ace, this is Warmer Von Hound. Are you all right? Rover. Everything is A-OK. -okay. Good. Then let me ask you this. What in dog's name do you think you're doing? Stealing government property is a serious offense. Over. I'm not stealing it. He is. I am not stealing it. Although that was my original intent. Well, if I'm not stealing it and you're not stealing it, then who is stealing it? You'd lose the sci fi though. This story is weird enough. Killjoy. It's a cat. And a red tabby to boot. <laughs> I'm right, huh? Take that! A stun city. This thing was made for these guys. Now that I've done the honors, Elliot, I'm putting the brakes on this story. But, Ace, you can't stop now. All of Dog City is counting on you. See for yourself. The eyes of the world are on Private Eye Dog Ace Hart as he rockets through the cosmos on his patriotic mission of mercy. Can he succeed? Will he survive? Only time will tell. Well, Ace? Don't wait up for me, world. I'm going to the moon. But no creatures, mutations, or space spores of any kind. Oh, Ace. Okay, mutts. We're all in this together. You there, power up those boosters. You, take over navigation. And you, suck in that tongue. Hey, why should we listen to yous? It's either that or we all die horribly disfiguring deaths in space. Oh. Just asking. Dibs on the window seat. Not much longer till we reach the moon. To keep from going mad, we try to occupy our minds. Here, Lunar Rover. Here, boy. Time for space walkies. Oopski. They forgot life-sustaining leash is great loss. <laughs> hey! Those boys are my backup. Somebody's got to bring them back. Be my guest. Very well, my loyal lugs. It's been a slice. Approaching moon. Approaching moon. Please have your tickets ready. There it is. The barren, hostile lunar landscape. <laughs> it don't look so hostile to me. <laughs> That's enough, Elliot. Okay, okay, it's the moon. Oh, my dog! It is a blessing that my boys have been spared the sight of this sorry scene. Got any free? Go fish. No. The dog city flag. I, Ace Hearts, Private Eye Dog, claim this moon for all dog kind. Yep. I claim this moon. Sorry, I claim this moon. Senseless. I love it. Uh -oh. Let us make Luna tracks. Elliot, enough already with the space monsters. 
that isn't a space monster, Ace. It's not? It's Leon Baker. Take me to your Lido's. Then, after my daring escape, I found myself at a personal crossroad of sorts. I had simply grown weary of trying to take over the world. So, I conquered the moon instead. Kiki, yes? No. So what's with the firecracker, Rottweiler? What? That old thing? I call it my doomsday device. I thought conquering the world was off your to-do list. Everyone needs a hobby. Attention, canine offlings. I want total domination over the off. And a full Ace Heart episode all to myself. You're mad! Mad, I tell you! Clearly, Rottweiler had lost his head. It was up to me to pound some sense back into it. No deal, Rottweiler. It saddens me to snuff out the existence of such a pretty little planet. But I'll get over it. Dog in Himmel! Ace the Space Command. Speak, Space Command. Rover. Ace, what about the Doomsday device? Rover. That ballistic baby isn't going anywhere. Rover. It's no use here, Hart. Nothing can turn that missile around. Says you, Rottweiler. Leon, fetch the shtick. Nine, Leon! Bad doggy! Well, the Ark was safe, but there was one little catch. <laughs> I gotta admit it, kid, this story tops them all. Imagine, a parade in my honor. That's not all, Ace. I've got an even bigger surprise planned for you. There he is, officer! Arrest him! Uh, arrest him! I don't believe it. Where's the charge? He's a moon doggy. A moon doggy? Uh, why didn't you say so? Always a pleasure to meet fellow fans of the Moon Doggy Show. <laughs> Bark loud and prosper. We sure missed with the Moon Doggy fan club convention, sir. Bet it was out of this world. <laughs> uh, yeah. Bow -woo! Bow -woo! Bow -woo! Come on, Scrubby, come on, Cheech. Let's go read some comic books. <laughs> Fuck loud and prosper. So come on, Elliot, what's the surprise? Well, you're about to get the key to the city. I've never gotten a key to Dog City before. Who said anything about Dog City? Huh? Submitted for your approval. Ace Heart, Private Eye, Dog. He went sniffing for glory in outer space, but he found himself barking up the wrong tree. A national hero in the Hydrant Zone. Elliot, get them away from me! <laughs> Elliot!